How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash. And welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss and solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. This is also known as the safest method among the four given methods that we have discussed in solving quadratic equation. So, let's start. Our objectives is very simple. We will learn how to use the quadratic formula in solving quadratic equation. The question is, what is the quadratic formula? When you solve using completing the square on the standard form, you get ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. That is the standard form, right? Now from that, if we try to solve for x, we will have the formula negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is the quadratic formula. We have to identify the value of a, b, and c and then substitute it into our formula. That's the very simple explanation and process in solving quadratic equation using this formula. So now, why use the quadratic formula? The quadratic formula allows you to solve any kind of quadratic equation. Even if it is not factorable, it doesn't have any linear term, or even if it doesn't have any constant term, or even the three terms are complete. So whatever kind of quadratic equation you will encounter, quadratic formula can solve it away. An important piece of the quadratic formula is what under the radical. That is the b squared minus 4ac. On the next lessons and videos, I will be teaching you what this b squared minus 4ac is all about. This is also known as the discriminant. But there is more to that and essence on knowing what is the discriminant of a given quadrat. Now, let us consider the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. As you can see in this formula, a, b, and c is available. Alright. Remember that in order for a quadratic equation to be a quadratic equation, a must not be equal to 0. You can read this formula as follows x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Now, let's consider the rules for using the quadratic formula. The equation must be in the standard form. So, therefore, if you have a quadratic equation and it is not yet in the standard form, what you will do is you have to transform it into a standard form in order for you to name the value of a, b, and c. When you get the value of a, b, and c, now you can minimize your mistakes and you just need to substitute it into your formula. Now let us solve by quadratic formula. We have the example 2x squared plus 3x is equal to 27. This is not yet in the standard form. So that will become 2x squared plus 3x minus 27 equals 0. a here is equal to 2 b is equal to 3, and c is equal to negative 27. Our quadratic formula is negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So you just need to substitute it, and the result will become negative 3 plus minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 27 all over 2 times 2. Because our a here is 2, so the 4ac and the 2a will have 2 in each of this given. We have here b, which is equal to 3. So our b here in the numerator will be substituted by 3. So we have c here, negative 27. Let's just substitute it inside our radical expression. So what we will do here after we substitute is we just need to simplify. So negative times 3 is negative 3. Plus minus, that's 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 times 2 times negative 27 is positive 216. While in the denominator, we have 2 times 2, so we have 4. Now, if your answer can still be simplified, you must simplify it. 9 plus 216 can be simplified. So we have negative 3 plus minus the square root of 225 over 4. Now, our square root of 225 is a perfect square. So therefore, we will still simplify this one giving us the result negative 3 plus minus 15 all over 4. Now as you can see, 
negative 3 plus 15 and negative 3 minus 15 can be simplified. So we will solve this separately by this kind of method. So by solving separately, we have negative 3 plus 15 over 4 and we have negative 3 minus 15 over 4. Let's just start with the first negative 3 plus 15 that is positive 12 over 4 so 12 divided by 4 and our first value for x is 3. We have here for the second negative 3 minus 15 all over 4 so negative 3 minus 15 is equal to negative 18 divided by 4 that cannot be done so we have to use lowest terms giving us negative 9 over 2. So the two values of our x are 3 and negative 9 over 2. Simple, right? Now, let's consider another example. We have 2x squared plus 7x is equal to negative 5. This is not yet in the standard form, so we transform it into 2x squared plus 7x plus 5 is equal to 0. We will name our a, b, and c, giving us a is equal to 2, b is equal to 7, and c is equal to 5. By using our formula, we will substitute the values of a, b, and c, giving us negative 7 plus minus the square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 2 times 5 all over 2 times 2. So after we substitute, we will simplify, giving us the result negative 7 plus minus the square root of 49 minus 40. Now, as you can see here, 7 squared is 49, while 4 times 2 times 5 is 40. Since we have a minus here, so we will have minus 40. All over 2 times 2, that is 4. Okay? You follow? Now, let's continue. 49 and 40 can still be simplified, giving us negative 7 plus minus the square root of 9 over 4. Remember that 9 is also a perfect square. So, therefore, we can still simplify this into negative 7 plus minus 3 all over 4. So, what we will do here is we will separate the plus and the minus sign to solve them separately giving us negative 7 plus 3 all over 4 and negative 7 minus 3 all over 4. Negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4 divided by 4 because of the denominator, we have negative 1. That is the first value of our x. Now, going to the second, negative 7 minus 3 all over 4, negative 7 minus 3, the answer is negative 10 all over 4 or divided by 4. However, 10 cannot be divided by 4. So therefore, we will use the lowest term giving us the result, giving us the result negative 5 over 2. So the two values for our x are negative 1 and negative 5 over 2. Very simple, right? Now let's go to the third example. We have here x squared minus 2x is equal to 8. Still not in the standard form, so transforming it becomes x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. Naming our a, b, and c, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 8. Our quadratic formula, this one, we will substitute our values a, b, and c to our formula, giving us negative negative 2 plus minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 8 all over 2 times 1. Now, remember that if two negatives are beside with each other, that means this will become positive, giving us the result positive 2. While here inside our radical side, we have negative 2 squared that gives us 4. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 8, two negatives will make a positive value. So therefore, our answer is plus 32 all over 2. So 4 plus 32 can still be simplified, giving us we have 2 plus minus the square root of 36 over 2. Square root of 36 is a perfect square, or 36 is a perfect square. Therefore, we can still simplify this as 2 plus minus 6 all over 2. Separating the plus and minus, we will have 2 plus 6 over 2 and 2 minus 6 over 2. For the first operation, we have 2 plus 6, that is 8, divided by 2, the answer is 4. That is our first value of x. Going to our second operation, 2 minus 6 over 4, 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Divided by 2, the answer is negative 2. So the value of our two x's for this given equation are 4 and negative 2. Very easy, right? Now, let's go to the last example. We have x squared minus 7x equals 10. Still not yet in the standard form, giving us the transformation of x squared minus 7x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, 
The next here is naming our A, B, and C. Giving us the value A is equal to 1, B is equal to negative 7, and C is equal to negative 10. Now, we will substitute this into our quadratic formula, giving us negative negative 7 plus minus the square root of negative 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 10 all over 2 times 1. Now, let's simplify. Two negatives will become positive. So, we have 7 plus minus negative 7 squared, that is 49, while negative 4 times 1 times negative 10 will become positive 40. So, giving us 49 plus 40 all over 2. Now, 49 plus 40 becomes square root of 89. However, the square root of 89 is not a perfect square. Therefore, you don't need to separate the plus and the minus here. So the two values of our x are 7 plus square root of 89 over 2 and 7 minus square root of 89 all over 2. So that ends our solution in this given example. Easy, right? So now, this is the time that I will be giving you the try these exercises. So we have three questions here, three quadratic equations. So use the quadratic formula in solving these three quadratic equations. I hope you can answer these questions efficiently. Now, if you do have any questions, you can go to our comment box and you can give your own idea on how did you come up with the values of your x. So, thank you very much. This is still your free access by Teacher Ash. Always remember that it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you, God bless, and keep safe. Subscribe, like, and share.